Falling Dead and Seeing the Light, a Mushrooms and LSD Trip Report by J. Toogs, posted to irid.org, October 15th, 2007. I would like to start out by saying that I've tripped many, many times, I made a hobby out of combining large doses of substances. And this is by far the most unique situation I have put myself in today. Three friends and I were going to 311 concert at a small university in Maryland. We were from out of town, so we got a hotel room a few miles away from the concert. I noticed we had a stove, so I decided to boil my mushrooms and make some tea out of it. I started to feel the effects right before we left for the show. We left about two hours early, and it was nothing abnormal really. Dizziness, giggling, and the normal colour trails associated with psychedelic shrooms. My friends had decided to eat ecstasy instead of mushrooms, since we also had LSD. So they popped the pills, and on we went. Right before we got in the car, I ate three hits of my acid. I had five total, two different types, but this is the only one I had tried before. After chewing on the paper for a few minutes, I felt as if it was the right time to swallow it, which I did. I promptly put the other two hits in my mouth and started chewing. My friends asked me how I wasn't pacing myself better. I told them that I wanted to be peeking off the mushrooms right when the acid started to take its effect. We all went into the show and split up. One friend and I had general admission, while the other two had pit seats. It was at this point that I realised I'd ate too many hallucinogens to be in a public place. I started to feel paranoid like something bad was going to happen. As an experienced tripper, I simply shrugged this off, telling myself I was just messed up and keeping my psyche normal for a little longer. Once we finally reached our seats and I sat down, I began feeling very uncomfortable. The warm-up band was loud and the music sucked, and this was what began to displease me more and more by the minute. I was hot, tripping balls, and I was ready to leave before the show even started. Knowing that it would be completely ridiculous for me to even ask my friends to leave with me, I tried to suck it up. It was then that I got this thought in my head that I was about to die. I was going to die unless I got water right away. I told my friend who told me to calm down and he would help me to get me to a water fountain. This is where it all went completely wrong. I went to open a door, and it was locked. I became furious at this and started to run down the stairs, which I ended up falling down. Once I fell down, it became clear to me. I had just died. The door being locked represented it being too late, and the fall itself was me actually dying. I began pleading with God to allow me one more chance at life. Keep in mind, I'm yelling this lying down on a stairway in the middle of a concert. My friend realises he needs to get me the hell out of here, and tries to get me up. I start running. Through people, into people, raising hell and catching the attention of one of Maryland's finest police officers. After watching me run amok for a few seconds, they approach me and grab me from behind. Still thinking I'm dead. I thought they were God's police coming to get me. Not ready to die, I began screaming and running away from them like there was no tomorrow. After this, I ended up running right into another group of officers, and they all then struggled to get me out of the building. I could not simply comprehend what was happening to me at all, and I began trying to push my way free of them again. They ended up tackling me, and eventually getting me into a cop car. However, I was so effed up that I didn't realise I was actually in a cop car, nor that I was handcuffed, or that my face was pressed against the seat. Being unable to move and seeing nothing but black, I realised that I was in hell. I hadn't exactly been a law-abiding, sin-free citizen, I guess. I started yelling gibberish and getting very angry. I was pleading with God to let me get into heaven. Hell sucked. Meanwhile, in reality, the cops knew I was completely messed up, and as a precaution, took me to the hospital. 
carting me around the hospital only confirmed any previous doubt that I had that I was dead. I was still yelling at God, begging and pleading for my whole life. Well, it was by now that they supposedly saw blood on my head. My memory's a little shaky, so I'm just going by the police report. And they decided that I needed a CAT scan. I don't know if you've ever been in a CAT scan, but you're pretty much surrounded by white light. I saw this as the classic seeing the light from near-death experiences and figured out that God had finally decided to let me into heaven. Already having accepted my death, I was pretty happy I wasn't going to spend the rest of my life in that dark place that I was before. Well, a few hours later, and I was hooked up to an IV. I came into the hospital and there was a nurse by my side. I asked her if she was my guardian angel. She gave me a puzzled look. I asked again. It was then that she said, Son, you're not dead. You're in a hospital. I didn't believe it at first, but after looking around, I realised she was telling the truth. After about eight hours of thinking I was dead, it finally became clear that I was not. I spent the rest of the weekend in the county detention centre until my friends posted bail. After that experience, I realised that life was too precious to go out on a drug overdose, and I am yet to trip since. <laughs>